and I actually feel like this is one of the um, the best music releases in a while. Um, hey everyone, I'm gonna be talking about a really, really strange Cat 4 Demon account I had just last night. So, I was just sitting in my room. I was just going over the hidden case when I spotted this super tall, like lanky figure peeking out of my wardrobe. Size were like deep set, white, uh, and it was wearing this like this weird priest robe. It was like it was like bleached white. It was really weird. Uh, I don't know, but as you all know, I've had. I've had a ton of experience with demonic incursions. And I'm pretty familiar with Emil Lambert's three steps of threats, so it wasn't a problem. It was just curious. He just stood there watching. Just the whole time was weird. No interaction. Usually you'll get some manner of communication. Some grunts, heavy breathing, but no, not this time. I just found it just really peculiar. Because it felt so serious this time, I don't know. Like, it's like it had an aura, it, ignore the meme, but yeah, it had like an, it had like a presence, you know? I'm gonna add this under the Demigod catalog, for sure. Hopefully we can keep tabs on this one, and I'll keep you guys updated if we have any breakthroughs. Bye! Hey everyone, I'm gonna be talking about a really, really strange Cat 4 Demon account I had just last night. So as you guys know, my Uncle Abel Nero is a pretty big player in the Aussie political game. It's kind of infamous for pissing off a ton of politicians and shit. <sighs> now, it's usually pretty hell bitter now. Lee's being able to reform and get the country back on track. But I was talking to him just yesterday, and he... kind of gave out this idea that we're heading for the end real soon. He says the truth died a long time ago. And world government's just... I won't see it anymore. And we're only years away from something, apparently. Catastrophic. I guess I found it really weird hearing this sort of thing from this outspoken guy who's usually cryptically positive about shit getting good again, but, you know, like, it even off my dad a bit. He told me my uncle was saying, Seth, you gotta stop shoving this golden daisy ideology of everything's gonna be alright down the kid's throat like you're covering thirsty murk. What that means. And like, it's always been against the Chapel Welsh and a whole chain from within us all perspective, but I just find it kind of scary. But yeah, I just wanna to talk to you guys about that. Anyway. Yeah, see ya. So as you guys know, my Uncle Abel Nero is a pretty big player in the Aussie political game. Now it's usually pretty hell bitter now. Lee's being able to reform and get the country back on track. But I was talking to him just yesterday and he kind of gave out this idea that we're tricked on a long time ago. Tree dog, one time.